Hi friends, this is Nageshwar and welcome to my channel IT Bird 143. In this tutorial, I will show how to create users and groups in Windows Server 2012 R2. Here, I have an enterprise setup. In our company, we have two blocks, block 1 and block 2. And there, different groups of people are working in these both blocks. Now, I want to create the users and the groups in Active Directory. Let's start the process. Here I'm using Windows 2012 Server. Come to Active Directory, Users and Computers. Just expand your server. Here first I want to create Block 1, Block 2 and for that come to New and please select Organizational Unit and Organizational Unit is a container within the Active Directory domain which can hold users, groups, and computers. With this, administrator can assign group policy settings or account permissions. And here I'm selecting block one. And please select protect container from accidental deletion. Okay. And similarly, I want to create block two. Okay, and in block one, we have two groups administration and research. So, for that, please select block one. And to create groups, please select new and group administration and in group scope, please select global and in group type, please select security. And after that, again, I want to create one more group. Research. Okay. Similarly, in block two, we have technical groups and stores group. And after creating the groups, now I want to create few users. So come to users. To create users, we have two options. Creating users with administrative privileges or a basic user. First, I want to create a user with the administrative privileges. So for that, please select administrator and right click and please select copy. And here, current. And here it is showing our domain name. If you want, you can add the last name for him. And next. And here we have to choose a perfect password. And always password should be the combination of capital letters, small alphabets, and special characters, numbers. And after that, here we have four options user must change password at next login if you select this user must log in first time by using this password and after that you have to change his password so to avoid that I'm selecting user cannot change password and password never expires and here we have one more option account is disabled if you want to disable this account in future you can select this and after that next and finish it and after that I want to create a basic user so right click on right panel and please select user And we have selected basic user that's why it is giving user must change password at next login and click on next finish it so here I have created 
different users Karan, Nitya, Raj, Kirti and Ashwin now just double click on Karan user and come to member of and here is the member of administrators domain admins domain users enterprise admins group policy and schema admins okay and similarly Vanitya she is the member of only domain users because this is a basic user now I want to group these users so for that come to block one so here in administration group double click on this and come to members to add the members click on add okay And for research group members, now after creating the groups, again come to users and here open current and come to member of, and here now we got current. Is the member of administration group again come to Raj member of and here is the member of domain users and research group after creating users and groups now I want to log in with these new users so for that sign out and please select other user Now I have login with the new user. Again, I want to login with the basic user. Here, I got the warning that the sign in method you are trying to use is not allowed. For more information, contact your network administrator. Since he is a basic user, that's why I'm not able to log in into the server. So like this, you can create users, groups, and organizational unit in Windows Server 2012, R2 Server. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please click on like button and please share this video with your friends. And please visit my channel, IT World 143, to watch more latest updated videos. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you, friends. Have a nice day.